primer eyelids and I use the Smashbox Photo Finish Lip Primer. And this is the palette I'll be using today. It's by Suifa and it's called the Cafe Palette. And it's really pretty so I wanted to use this as soon as possible. So I'm first going in with this super light shade and I'm just going to blend this all over in my crease. It's not really doing anything but um, if you like apply a layer of your own skin color in your crease then it will be easier to blend the other shades in your crease because there's already a soft layer. Now the next shade I'm going in with is called Nuanced History. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. It's a really soft peachy pink shade and I'm going to blend this all over in my crease using a blending brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going back and forth all over my crease, nothing precise. I do have to say that once I blended this in my crease it turned out a bit darker than it looked in the palette. But that's not really bad, I like that it showed up more color. So now the next shade is this super pretty pinky mauve shade and I'm going to first press this in my outer V to darken it up a bit and then I'm going to slowly blend, blend it a little bit lower and also um, more in my crease so it blends in with the other shades I have already blended in my crease. Now for my next shade I'm going in with this brown burgundy shade. It's not really burgundy but it's like a brown shade with a red undertone. Really pretty. So I'm pressing this in my outer V as well and then I'm going to slowly blend it up more higher. Um, but I want like the most product to be at my outer V so that's why I start with packing on the product over there. And then just to make sure that the, like the, how do you say it? Like the end of my... What is wrong with me? Like I don't want the edges to be harsh, that's what I was trying to say. So I'm just blending around the corners so it blends towards all the other shades that I have applied before. So everything just looks really well blended into each other. So now I'm using a matte white shade and I blended this a bit underneath my brow just because I found the transition from my crease towards my brow is not really looking good so that's why I did this. And I'm going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15. I'm going to apply this on my eyelid to create a base for the eyeshadows that I will apply on the eyelid. Now that I'm done with applying the concealer, I'm going in with this light pink shade and I'm going to apply this at the beginning of my eyelid. Now next to that pinky shade, I'm going in with this pretty green shade and I'm using my MAC 242 brush. I also use this for applying the pink shade and also to create... Um, that crease line using the concealer but that was like with a different brush so not this brush but like a clean version and when I'm done with applying the green shade I'm going to apply this pinky shade which is called micro roasting <laughs> and I'm going to press this right at the place where I haven't applied product yet you could still like see some concealer on the eyelid and I'm just packing on this product on all the places where you still can see like a bit of that concealer now to make everything blend into each other, I'm going back in with that brown shade and I'm going to tap this in my outer V and then I'm going to blend this more towards my crease so all the shades that I have applied in my, on my eyelid um, will look more faded into my crease. I don't want it to have like harsh lines except at the beginning of the eyelid. For today's eyeliner, I'm using the Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner in combination with the De Balm Swing Liquid Liner. This is my current favorite combination. I'm using this combination in all my latest videos. First, I create a line right above my upper lash line. And then I'm going to create the cat wing using my Sigma Eyebrow Brush. This is my favorite brush for creating that cat wing because you can create like a super thin line. And when I'm done with creating the line above my lash line and the cat wing, I'm going to fill it in using my The Balm Swing Liquid Liner. And when I apply my eyeliner, I really like to layer it with different textures. So first I went in with gel and then I'm going to apply liquid on top of it. And I feel like it makes it look extra black. 
and because you layer it it gives like extra dimension or something not sure how to explain but i just feel like it looks so much better than if you like only apply one product so now to clean up the line of my wing i'm going in with the mac pro long Wing concealer again and i'm just going straight underneath that wing to make it look extra sharp and when I'm done with applying the concealer, um, I'm also going to apply it a little bit lower because you could still see like some eyeshadow. And to blend it out, I'm going in with my beauty blender to make it melt into my concealer underneath the eyes and the foundation I have on my face. Now for underneath my lower lash line, I went in with that brown shade again. And I'm using this with a flat definer brush. And I'm just pressing a bit of this eyeshadow right underneath my lower lash line so it gives like a lot of color payoff. Now right next to that I'm going to use a tiny bit of that pinky shade as well, just like a super tiny bit. And then I'm going to blend this out using this purple shimmery shade. And I'm using my Dose of Colors pencil brush and I'm just going to blend this back and forth. Now for in my inner corner I'm going back in with that light pinky shade and I'm just going to press a little bit of this in my inner corner. Since I have also applied this on the beginning of my eyelid, you can kind of make it melt into each other. And also I'm applying a bit underneath my eyebrow. Now for my waterline, I'm going to use the Suiva Nude Pencil, one of my favorite pencils to use for a new waterline. It makes my eyes look bigger and it just gives a very fresh appearance. And it's not really expensive.